Hello Aquarius, so today I'm going to be doing a general reading, love and career and this is the first time I have done a single kind of zodiac reading instead of a pick a card so if this resonates with you please comment down below, I'd love to know and let's just get right on into it. So oh, I'm also having a sale on my readings, I have a sale on my 25 minute reading, I have it's half price till the 22nd of April. Uh, so if you'd like to get in touch with me, all the information is down below and uh, you can contact me on my email or you can message me on my Instagram. So let's get started and subscribe if you'd like to. So let's get started. So what is the overall energy for Aquarius? So we have make music, making new friends and feeling safe. What's the overall energy for the next couple of weeks for Aquarius, please? So we have trust in the magic. Life is a mystery. And which one? This one or this one? This one. Uh, the Badger Spirit. I feel like I need to pull out quite a few Animal Spirit cards. So that's what I'm going to do today. And we also have Be Here Now. Wow, there's, a, <laughs> there's a lot of messages coming through. So what's the overall energy for Aquarius for the next couple of weeks, please? And we have Temperance. So it's just all about making balance for yourself. Um, making sure you are working on your own emotions. And I feel like there's an element of not feeling safe at the moment. I feel like a lot of you being a bit recluse, a bit of a hermit, but trust that this is all going to work out. And we also have be fearless and bold, but we also have life is a mystery. So I kind of feel like you're kind of going backwards and forwards with how you're actually feeling. Some days you're feeling like, oh my God, I've got so much to do. And then other days you're like, hell yeah, I'm fine. So <laughs> I feel like this could be quite random. I feel like you could also be tipping your cup into other people's cups as in like, you're pouring too much of your emotions into other people. Uh, so make sure you're focusing on yourself and to be here now in the in the now and know that everything's gonna work out okay. And you could be making some new friends in the next couple of weeks. Um, you could be joining up with your tribe, kind of people who are a lot like you and also make music. I feel like a lot of you need to dance around your room, maybe sing, uh, listen to music that you haven't listened to in a long time. Um, I feel like connect with your inner child is going to be really important because I feel like a lot of you are bogged down with kind of um, adulthood, which is something I never say, so that's definitely for you guys. Bogged down with adulthood and what is actually going on, but you have these treasure chests. An unforeseen windfall of new abundance comes to you now. So as I say, I feel like this is to do with the temperance. You could also be meeting a new person as well. You could be talking to somebody and or having an emotional conversation with a friend. And we also have the Queen of Wands. Normally I don't do reversals, but I'm going to do a reversal now. So the Queen of Wands, I feel like when she's in reverse, I feel like she's kind of not very grounded and she's very um, up in the air. So a lot of you could be feeling like you are, don't you don't know what path you're on at the moment. You're kind of unsure what path you need to be on. And there's also a lot of options for you as well. So I feel like you guys are kind of getting um, overwhelmed with all the options. So when this is in reverse, it's about self-respect, self-confidence, introverted, re-establishing sense of self. So as I say, I definitely feel like you guys are becoming a hermit at the moment. It's like not knowing where to sit, where nowhere to stand. Should I sit? Should I stand? Should I jump? Should I run? Should I go for a dance? Should I go out with my mates? It's kind of like, I don't know how I feel, so I'm just going to sit. <laughs> Because I feel like a lot of you are kind of unbalanced at the moment. So making sure you meditate, get outside, um, do what makes you feel happy and kind of keep bringing yourself back to yourself and not keep thinking about other people is what I'm getting. I feel like a lot of you need to really think about yourself. I feel like a lot of you, as I say, are filling your cup into other people's cups. So Aquarius, let's see what you guys have going on in your love life. What is going on in Aquarius's love life, please? Oh, I feel like you have uh, quite a lot of people coming towards you. I don't know why, but it's just as in like, I don't know why there's a lot of people. I don't know why it's just one person. I feel like maybe you're maybe going on a dating site. I feel like you guys haven't been on a dating site for a while. Maybe you're suddenly going on a dating site or you're going on lots of dates. Or you could just have lots of people that are interested in you. I don't, 
really know what that's about. I'm just seeing a lot of people. Maybe you're meeting somebody while you're out, like in a pub or something, that sort of thing. So we have worth waiting for, passion, getting to know each other, and heart to heart conversations. So if this is somebody that you know and you're interested in them, you're going to get to know each other and going, you're going to have a heart to heart conversation. And I feel like this person is worth waiting for. So if you don't know who they are yet, they're worth waiting for, whoever this person is, because they're going to be coming in at some point to give you passion. And as I say, if you don't know who this person is, um, they're basically worth waiting for anyway. So don't worry about the timing of this person. They're telling me. You also have the Two of Pentacles. The King of Swords. And the death card. Wow, the death card is really coming up for like a lot of signs. So I definitely feel like this could be a Scorpio. You could be um, dealing with a Aries as well, maybe. Some sort of fire sign. So I'm feeling like you guys are trying to balance your work life and your relationship life. Um, I feel like you guys are coming into your own. You are standing your ground, uh, making sure you're not getting done over by a lot of by anybody that you're kind of dealing with. Um, kind of saying you're cutting people off as well as if they don't serve you, which is amazing, which is really good. Um, the death card is coming in to represent a end of a cycle. So I feel like you guys could actually be breaking up with somebody, sorry to say. But you, you already know who this is anyway, so it's not like a surprise. Um, you could also be going through a breakup. Um, this could also be breaking of emotions as well. So it could be like a sudden break sort of thing. Let's see, what happens after the death card, please? What happens after the death card for Aquarius? So we have, here we go, right, we have the Knight of Cups. There we go, that explains it. So we have somebody, oh, right, okay. Yeah, I feel like you're breaking up with an ex, you're separating from somebody, but it's good because there's somebody coming in who's so much better. Um, this could also be death of emotions. You could be releasing some old emotions, some stubborn emotions as well, and you're trying to balance yourself out. And after you've done that, this Knight of Cups is going to be really passionate and you're going to, and this is where all this comes in, it's where you're going to have heart-to-heart -heart conversations. I feel like this worth waiting for is very separate from all of this because I feel like this worth waiting for is like what you're waiting for at the moment. And then when it comes in and you've moved through this emotion, it's like all of this is going to happen. If that makes sense. Yeah, I don't feel like there's anything I need to say. If you're in a relationship, then it's all going to be really good. You're going to have really passionate um conversations you're going to be really passionate with each other um you could also have some sort of argument because you're trying to contain balance in your life and one of you may be a little bit more stubborn than the other but that is just kind of what i'm feeling what might actually happen yeah so i definitely feel like you could have some really good heart to heart conversations with um friends as well what's going on in oh okay and they're already popping out <laughs> didn't even ask so worthiness waves of prosperity gorgeous what's your thoughts okie dokie so there's definitely a lot of emotional stress going on emotional pain i definitely feel like with the death card that came up in your emotions in your relationship sector i definitely feel like this could be affecting your finance this could also be kind of in the back of your mind i feel like a lot of you could actually be working with an ex that you've just broken up with and you're just kind of like oh my god, I have to stand my ground and kind of really, really work on myself sort of thing because it's kind of like you've got to make sure this confidence... You're bringing out this confidence and making... You're kind of sitting on this confidence and it's kind of like you're waiting for it to... I don't know, you're kind of... Uh, it's really hard to explain. The confidence is there and you need to like keep it there in the front forefront of your mind because if it kind of goes back and you kind of draw yourself in, it's like, oh my god, and there's like sudden panic. So it's like just making sure that you are, don't, don't be too hard on yourself because confidence comes in and out in, in waves anyway. So it's not really anything to worry about. We also have mother healing. As your feelings towards your mother heal, your desires manifest more rapidly and accurately. So this is quite interesting. This is to do with your finances. So you may be working with a family member, maybe working with a mum. You could be talking to your mum about maybe having a having a new start to something. I love the fact that we've got ways of prosperity though, but we also have what's your thoughts on worthiness. So it's also like, I feel like it could be a new job coming in and you don't know if you're really worthy of it. You could also be working with children. 
I feel like some of you could be artists as well in drawing. So we also got the Queen of Swords. So I feel like this is to do with mothers as well. So I feel like they could also be someone who's uh, mothering you as well and helping you to get a job. They could be like someone who's a counsellor or something. We also got the, the Queen of Swords. I feel like represents someone who... I feel like she's really pointing at what's your thoughts as well. So it's like... As I say, this is definitely what I was feeling with the whole confidence thing. It's like keeping that confidence in the forefront of your mind to make sure you're kind of not... You're, you're backing down your guard it, where these insecurities coming from which is a worthiness it's like it's okay not to be confident sometimes it's totally fine we've got the nine of cups as well so i definitely feel like you guys are i feel like some of you are really content with your financial situation now i feel like a lot of you are kind of diving into a lot of emotional comfortable jobs so something that's going to really help you emotionally something else that you're gonna like really really love i feel like something else needs to come in but i'm not sure what it is what's the overall energy for well death <laughs> we got the death card again guys what are you doing <laughs> you guys are really going for it maybe you guys are oh right okay i feel like some of you are thinking about quitting your job as well did i say this that's i swear i swear i said this to you but you've also got the world in reverse but i feel like there's options for you you're just not seeing them right now i feel like there's another there's another like oh, there's another thing i need to say I feel like your relationships are affecting your finances. I'm not sure why, but I feel like I had to say that. So we have the High Priestess. So I feel like you guys are going to go for a bit of a transformational period and come out as the High Priestess, which is really, really nice. The High Priestess is somebody who's very overall, overly, overall confident in herself. And she kind of knows what she wants. So it's like, I feel like you guys need to go for a little bit of a crash before you kind of come out as the High Priestess. I feel like there could also be a bit of conflict going on as well. So just watch out for that. Uh, make sure you guys are really kind of tuning into how you feel and to not project that onto anyone else. Um, basically, the high priestess means intuition, sacred knowledge, divine feminine and the subconscious mind. So I definitely feel like you guys are kind of, yeah, as I say, don't project your subconscious thoughts onto other people um, because this could also affect your finances as well and how you deal with money and your, your relationship with money. Uh, I feel like maybe some of you could also have subconscious thoughts around money as in like not feeling worthy enough to have money, not feeling worthy enough to have that certain job that you really, really want. So watch these thoughts and kind of be with them and be strong and it's okay to not feel confident sometimes. So really hope this helped. Um, if this was accurate, please comment down below. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Also, if you'd like to book a private reading with me, as I said, I have my one of my 30 minute readings, one of my 25 minute readings, sorry, a half price. So get in there while you can before the 22nd of April. Subscribe if you would like to, and I'll see you all very, very soon. Also, if this doesn't resonate, that's totally fine. I have picker cards, and if it doesn't resonate, you don't want to watch the picker cards and just let it fly. So I'll see you very, very soon. Bye.